Okay, today we're going to be making some Halloween soaps. We have our jack-o'-lantern molds here and we're going to be doing a sunset orange mica and a flotation device neon orange mixed with sunset orange to knock back the neon just a little to make a light orange stripes through the orange. All right, we already have our base oils done and our kale and clay and coconut milk mixed in. So now it's just time to pour our lye and get that mixed together. Thank you. All right, we pour it through this strainer here to make sure there's no lye crystals that haven't dissolved going into the soap. We don't want to accidentally harm anybody by getting full lye crystals in. There we go. Once we get that done, we mix it up with our immersion blender. We tap the bottom a few times and get all the air bubbles out. And then we zhoosh it. Okay, now that the lies mixed in, we are going to go ahead and add our fragrance to this batch. We use a pumpkin sandalwood and it behaves really well in cold process. So we're going to go ahead and put it in before our colors this time. Okay, we're going to whisk that through and not use our immersion blender this time. And now I'm going to pour some off into another pitcher so that I can mix our colors. Okay. Our darker orange is going to go into our big pot. Our lighter orange is going to go into our small one. Ooh, I love that color. Okay. And now we're going to whisk this in. We always start with the lighter color first, but usually we'll be fine just to go from pot to pot as long as you go from light to darkest without mixing too bad. And just make sure you get all the sides, all the little crevices there. Then over to our big one. And get that orange mixed in. there. Okay. okay, we're going to do an in the pot swirl using our light into our dark. So I'm just going to pour in the corners. Two corners here. Kind of go back and forth a little. And I'm going to scrape out this container so that we get all that soap out and don't miss any of it. Now that that's done, we're going to take the spatula and just go one and a half times around to where it swirls there. And then we're going to take these over or take these and put them into multiple pitchers here so that it's easier to pour into our pumpkin molds from these smaller spouts on these pitchers. Almost got it all. And I have some 
help here today, helping me pour into molds, my husband, Charlie. But we can get it all in there before it gets set. Now we're just gonna pour here into our jack-o'-lantern molds. We can kind of tap them down afterwards and make sure they fill in all the little holes in the little stem area. Oops. Got a couple a little full, but that's okay. We can we can figure that out. <laughs> 